All right, chapter four, part two. My mom loves to talk about money, Richie said, sporting a milk mustache. She's a designer. She can get clothes with their names on it. She's very famous. So's my father. He builds office buildings. And my grandma's filthy rich. You mean from counting her money, Fudge asked. I don't know, Richie said. Maybe. She should take her money to the bank to get it washed, Fudge told her. It's a good idea, Richie bit into a carrot with his back teeth. I have a lot of good ideas, Fudge said. I know, Richie said. That's why I want to be your friend. The next day, Richie Rich's Richest was back. So where's the toy room? What toy room, Fudge asked. You know, Richie said, the room where you keep all your toys. I keep my toys in my room. That's it? That's all the toys you have? He has more than he needs, Mom told Richie. She was getting Tootsie up from her nap. Richie shook his head. I can have any toy I want whenever I want, even Lego par par Parorama, Fudge asked. Richie shrugged. Whatever. Did you hear that? Fudge said. He can have any toy he wants whenever he wants it. Yes, Mom said, and she took a deep breath. I certainly did hear that. I'm not spoiled, Richie said. There's a difference between having everything you want and being spoiled. Is there, Mom? Fudge asked. I suppose it's possible, Mom said. You have a house at the beach, Richie answered out. Do you? No, we don't, Mom said. Our house is on the ocean side, but we keep our boat in the bay. I have two half-brothers who are also rich and famous. They're probably You've probably heard of them. Jeffrey and Colin Potter. They make movies. Pete, Fudge said, if I cut you in half, then I'd have a half-brother, and Tootsie could have the other half. That's not exactly what half-brothers is, I told him. Jeffrey and Colin are from my father's first marriage, Richie told Fudge. After his divorce, he married my mother, and they had me. My mother is 20 years younger than my father. She always says I'm very smart and extremely handsome. Do you think I'm handsome? The kid was on a roll. There was no stopping him now. Why, yes, Mom said. You and Fudge are both very handsome. Which of us is more handsome? Fudge asked. I wouldn't want to have to choose, Mom said. What is this, a beauty contest, I asked. That got Fudge and Richie laughing so hard, Richie had to dig out his inhaler and take a couple of puffs. That night at dinner, Mom told Dad, Fudge has an interesting new friend. Interesting friends are better than boring ones, Dad said. We are having pasta primavera, that's spaghetti with a bunch of vegetables on top. I asked Mom if I could have my pasta with just plain tomato sauce, but Mom said vegetables are very important. Richie P Potter likes broccoli, Fudge said. We know, I told him. It makes his pee smell funny. Fudge, Mom said. We don't talk about what we do in the bathroom at mealtimes. Why not, asked Fudge. Anyway, it's asparagus that makes pee smell funny, I told him, not broccoli. Peter, Dad warned. Broccoli too, Fudge said. I know, because he let me smell it. That's enough, boys, Dad said, which got Tootsie going. Ee, 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 she shrieked. Fudge's new friend brags about everything, I said. He even brags about his poop, Fudge told us. I'm not surprised, I said. But Pete, if you saw what he made, you'd understand. He has this long, Fudge held out his hand, showing me exactly how long. That's it, Mom said. I don't want to hear another inappropriate word at the end at this meal. And that's the end of chapter four. I hope you enjoyed it. Tell Clover bye. I don't think I'll be reading with her again. I now remember why I stopped because all the rabbit hair flies up and tickles my nose and gets in my mouth. 